Well, it's time to weigh anchor, head out to sea, and check out these 13 secrets cruise ships don't want you to know. When you go on a cruise for the first time, life on the ship may seem very mysterious. How does this huge creature function so efficiently? But the more experience you gain, the better you'll understand that there are some things crew members don't tell you about. And you only get to know about the off-the-menu treats or good deals on onboard purchases if you're really lucky. Well, you don't need to learn these things the hard way, uh-uh. This video will open your eyes to 13 secrets cruise ship crews don't want you to know. But before you make a wild dash for knowledge, remember to hit this enticingly red subscription button. Yeah, right there. This is the door that will lead you to the bright side of life with all its cool videos and useful information. To keep track of daily updates, remember to turn on notifications. Alright, grab your life vest and let's cast off. Counting down from number 13, you should know that there are no all-inclusive cruises. First-timers often believe that, having paid for a cruise, they'll enjoy all the riches of an all-inclusive trip. Mm, not exactly. Write down this list of things that are typically not included in the cost of a cruise to avoid a feeling of horror when you see your bill at the end. Most specialty restaurants are free, as are the buffets and main dining rooms. At the same time, some of them will require you to pay from $10 to $30 per person. If you are unwilling to pay extra, avoid spas and salons, unless you've picked a luxury cruise. Such services aren't cheap. Pay attention because excursions offered on board often aren't free. You can use fitness facilities you like, from free weights to exercise bikes to climbing walls to tennis courts. However, for such classes as yoga, dancing, or Pilates, you'll most likely have to pay about 10 bucks. In addition, you'll have to leave tips for the staff, and that's about $10 a day per passenger. Alcoholic cocktails, soft drinks, and some other beverages, for example, coffee in a coffee shop, can also have their price. Before ordering things, make sure you know their cost. In general, the more expensive cruises have more options included. That's why it often turns out that paying more for a trip can actually save you money. Number 12. Every cruise ship has a jail on board. Yeah! Think about it. Cruise ships sometimes spend hours and even days on the open sea. What if somebody commits a crime on board? By the way, it happens much more often than you may think with all those exotic alcoholic cocktails at the bar. For exactly this reason, each cruise ship has its own very real jail called the Brig. This prison typically consists of several small rooms with only a bed for furniture. They're usually located at the front of the ship. Offending individuals stay there under lock and key until they get transferred to the port authorities at the end of the trip or at the nearest port. So behave yourselves. Number 11. Every cruise ship also has a morgue on board. It's not part of the tour. More than 22 million people go on cruises every year. Many of them are seniors, enjoying their days in the most relaxing way possible. Sadly, cases of people passing away on cruise ships aren't so rare. In fact, about 200 people pass away while on a cruise every year. That's why it's very important not to boast to your friends, I'm just dying to go on a cruise. Let's not tempt fate, okay? Now this is why it seems only logical that every ship has its own morgue. When somebody dies, the ship's crew won't inform other passengers about the tragedy, so as not to spoil the trip. For the remainder of the journey, the body stays in the morgue, which is located in the staff area of the ship. Passengers are prohibited from entering this zone. It's pretty dead down there. Okay, I'll stop. Number 10. There are secret codes. You'll surely agree that the crew has to avoid mass panic in an emergency situation. They have a solution to this problem – secret codes. If you hear an announcement of Operation Bright Star or Alpha Alpha Alpha, there's a medical emergency on board. And Operation Rising Star means that a passenger has died. 
Ah, going to heaven, get it? Code PVI doesn't have such a tragic connotation. You can decipher it as a public vomiting incident. Mr. Mob, as well as Oscar Oscar Oscar, informs the crew that there's a person overboard. Code Red stands for an illness outbreak. Now, you never want to hear Charlie Charlie Charlie, which means there's a security threat, or Bravo Bravo Bravo, which gives notice of a fire. Oh, and Pizza 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 means that Papa John just fell overboard. Nah, just kidding. Number 9. Befriend the crew. You may get amazing perks. Besides having really little sleep and tons of work, crew members can also enjoy some perks of their profession, such as parties and cheap – this means $1 cocktails cheap – alcohol at the bars, catering exclusively for the crew. If you manage to befriend some staff members, you might be able to have a much more exuberant trip. But in reality, you'll have a tough task at hand. Crew members are often immediately sacked and left at the nearest port because they fraternize with passengers. Wow! Number 8. There's a secret pool available for a chosen few. And while there's a tiny chance that you might be invited to a crew-only party, there's another amazing privilege just for those who work on the ship. That would be a hot tub, sometimes accompanied by a swimming pool, which is situated in the front of the ship in the staff-only area. You could wander for hours looking for a free deck chair while crew members can relax in a private hot tub. Isn't that a good reward for their hard work? Here's number 7. Ask for adults-only areas. There's one secret that may help you if you have problems with hordes of people near the common pool. If you are older than 18, look for adults-only swimming pools in public areas. Most passengers don't know that such an option exists. If they do, they can't go there with their kids. That's why adults-only zones are much calmer and more relaxing than the rest of the ship. If you don't see such a place, ask a crew member. Sometimes these swimming pools are situated in secluded areas or under the roof. Number 6. The crew has anti-pirate training. Yo-ho! Pirates do exist nowadays, and from time to time they even attempt to attack cruise ships. There have been six such cases recorded, but only one of them was successful. Luckily, the ship didn't have any passengers on board at that moment. The crew eventually returned home, and the ship was retrieved after the owners paid a ransom. The area in which the risk of pirate attacks is the highest is located in the Gulf of Oman, near Kenya, Somalia, Yemen, and Oman. Yeah, I'd probably stick to the Caribbean for a cruise. There's no pirates in the Caribbean, are there? Number 5. The bigger your ship is, the higher the risk of a fire. Between 1999 and 2011, 79 fires happened on cruise ships. What's more, since 2006, the number of fires per year has doubled. But honestly, it's no wonder. Oasis of the Seas, one of the largest cruise ships on the planet, has so much electrical wiring that it could stretch across America from coast to coast. And owing to the proximity of all these electrical things to water, eh, you can see the potential hazard. Number 4. People gain weight on cruises. Really? Now, several cruise reviewers conducted a number of online polls. According to the results, people gain between 5 and 10 extra pounds on a week-long cruise. It definitely depends on how much they work out while cruising and how many alcoholic cocktails they drink each day. Never mind all the trips to the buffet line. Number 3. Your ship will easily leave you behind. Now, if you return too late from a shore excursion, you may not find your ship at the port. Bye bye <laughs> This is especially the case if you decided to save money by buying an excursion when you went ashore. Nobody on the ship has any obligations to wait for you, as cruise ships have to stick to a very strict schedule. To be on the safe side, always carry a photocopy of your passport and other documents, some cash and credit cards. And bring your watch. Number 2. Disease outbreaks are not uncommon on cruise ships. The thing that any cruise ship crew is most terrified of is norovirus. The problem is that everyone on the ship lives in close quarters and shares dining areas. 
Passenger turnover is fast, which also contributes to the problem. Even if one infected person gets on board, this may result in a disastrous gastrointestinal outbreak. Diarrhea, vomiting, stomach cramps… you get the picture. Experienced crew members promise that this is not how you want to spend your vacation time. Number 1. People go missing from cruise ships Few people know that cruise ships are notorious for the number of people that disappear without a trace every year. According to statistics from the Cruise Victims Association, wow, there is such a group? 165 people went missing between 1995 and 2011. Some sources state that this number could be as high as 200 people. Nobody knows if the people fell overboard, committed suicide, were murdered, or were kidnapped. Oscar, Oscar, Oscar! Now, press the like button if at least one of these secrets managed to surprise you. Tell us in the comments below if you would like to go on a cruise. If your answer is yes, what would be your dream destination? I'm guessing probably not the brig or the morgue. Hey, see you next time on The Bright Side of Life!